Welcome back, John Fuller readers. I am so excited to kick off Read Across America Week with you. Last year, we focused on growth mindset versus fixed mindset. This year, we are focusing on like two themes. So the first one is March is Women's History Month. So I've selected books that were written by female authors from across the United States. Our second theme is Road Tripping Through a Diverse America, where all of our authors live in different states. And we're going to have a little bus on the map in the hallway where each day we'll move it to the state that the author lives in. Now, each of these books feature diverse characters. However, we all can relate to the stories because they're about things that we, as humans, because we're all the same, experience. Yet, as humans, we're all different. So each day, I'm going to ask you to connect to that book's theme. And I'd love to have your art or your words to hang up in the hallway so that we can see how we, as a John Fuller family, are all connected around these themes. Today's read aloud is called Saturday by Oge Mora. And this is about a girl who looks forward to Saturday because it's the only day she gets to spend with her mom. At the end, I'm going to ask you to connect that to you. Do you have a special day with your family? Or what does your family look like? Because we all have different looking families. I know when I was your age, a special day to me was Friday because every Friday night we would go and get pizza next to the video store. This is how old I am. We would have to rent videos or games to play on our Nintendo. Yes, the first Nintendo. <laughs> and that was a really special memory for me and my sisters. And so I would probably connect this story to our Friday night of getting pizza and picking out a movie or a video game with my sisters that we would then later play or watch later that night. So without further ado, here is Saturday by Oge Mora. Saturday by Oge Mora. Published by Little Brown and Company. This morning, Ava and her mother were all smiles. It was Saturday. Because Ava's mother worked Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Saturday was the day they cherished. On Saturdays, they zipped to the library for weekly story time. On Saturdays, they lounged in salon chairs and got new hairdos. On Saturdays, they picnicked in the grass for a peaceful afternoon at the park. And on this Saturday, they would also ride the bus across town for a one-night-only puppet show. The day would be special. The day would be splendid. The day was Saturday. Ava and her mother could hardly wait. So zoom! Off they went. But when they reached the library, story time was canceled. Oh no! Ava cried. It's canceled, wailed Ava's mother. They paused, closed their eyes, and whew, let out a deep breath. Don't worry, Ava, her mother reassured her. Today will be special. Today will be splendid. Today is Saturday. So zoom, off they went. But as they left the salon, whoosh! Their hairdos were ruined. Oh no, Ava sobbed. Our dues, boo-hooed Ava's mother. They paused, closed their eyes, and <sighs> let out a deep breath. Don't worry, Ava, her mother reassured her. Today will be special. Today will be splendid. Today is Saturday. So zoom, off they went. But their peaceful afternoon at the park was loud. Oh no, Ava groaned. What did you say? It's too noisy, yelled her mother. They paused, closed their eyes, and let out a deep breath. 
Don't worry, Ava, her mother reassured her. Today will be special. Today will be splendid. Today will be ruined if we miss that bus! So, zoom to the extra special one-night-only puppet show they went. We made it! Ava exclaimed as they arrived at the theater. Thank goodness! Ava's mother sighed in relief. Hooray for Saturday! They cheered. Tickets! chirped the lady at the door. Ava's mother reached into her purse, but the tickets weren't there. Oh no! Ava's mother gasped. I left her tickets on the table. As Ava watched, her mother crumpled. I've had it, she sighed. Story time was canceled, our hair was ruined, the park was loud, and now we're missing the puppet show. I'm sorry, Ava. We looked forward to this all week, and I've messed up everything. I ruined Saturday. Ava was quiet for a moment. Then she closed her eyes and <sighs> let out a deep breath. Don't worry, Mommy, Ava reassured her. Today was special. Today was splendid. Saturdays are wonderful because I spend them with you. So slowly, hand in hand, off they went. When they reached their apartment door, Ava turned to her mother. She had an idea. What if we... Ava started. You know we could, her mother began. So they did. What a beautiful day. I hope you enjoyed our first read aloud for Read Across America Week, Saturday by Oge Mora. She's based in Providence, Rhode Island, so not too far away on our road trip. We also have her other books that she has written and or illustrated. But now it's your turn to help me out. I would love to learn more about your family. Do you have a special day of the week? Or just what does your family look like? For Ava, it was just her and her mom. That's her family. So what you are going to be doing for me and to help celebrate you is sharing out with pictures and or words a special day of the week with your family or just what does your family look like. So I can't wait to see what you come up with. Have a great day.